there are so many people there that uh, are, you got you got to stay on the private property. But I'm a little early tonight. They usually don't cross and probably it's quarter after five. So they probably um, probably will cross that fence line probably around 6.30, 6.45, somewhere in there. But until then, I just wait and drink some water and eat some snacks. I got some Vienna sausages. You can eat those. I just want to know. I just want to know where they're, what time. They come over, and go feed. I need. I need to know what time that is. You know. Well, we'll get back with you. What up, guys? So it is six o'clock. Um, just getting ready to. Just getting ready. Um, gotta get down there before before it gets too early. Gotta set up. Um, I kind of, um, I made kind of a blind last night before, uh, before I left, so, just, uh, real quick, just debris blind, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Up, but uh, slept good, slept real good. But uh, yeah, so uh, I will get back to you when I get back on the trail, get all my stuff rounded up, get my boots on, get my boots on, and uh, yeah, we're gonna get deer this morning. I have a feeling we're gonna get one. my camo on got my my revolver in case we run any snakes but alright so I'll uh, get back with you when we get back on the trail on the trail hike down there get in our spot and shoot one of those son of a bitch and deer I'm ready to kill something. So I'll get back with you. Well, <clears throat> I just had my chance. Deer come rolling in. Um, about 33 yards. I didn't have my release hooked up. So I got my bow and went to it was standing broadside. Hooked my release up and looked up and he was gone. But there's a tree line that has pretty good cover that I can come sit at tonight. But the deer are gone from that field now. It's too late and it's eight o'clock now. Yeah, he was right there, man. I would have had my release hooked up. I would have had a deer. Damn it. Let's see here a little bit longer, see if something plus I wasn't down far enough on this road 
need to be a little bit further down because they follow this they follow this tree line and then they hop the fence once they're hop that fence it's for one thing I can't go over there private property and and another thing is it's it's so thick you wouldn't be able to you wouldn't be able to see anything anyway but yeah I need to go down about a hundred yards further sit in the tree line that's coming off of that field piss me off damn it I should have should have been ready and I wasn't would have had a nice two by three, nice and tall. It was tall, two by three. Not too wide, but it was pretty tall. Damn it. Deer are smarter than shit, man. They're this stock and spot and stock shit's hard, man. They they're so spooked out right now, which is funny because they're not uh, they're not hunted here because it's private property. I don't understand it. I don't get it. But yeah, I just walked down to that field and glassed over that field there. Every one of them gone. All, all 36 that I counted last night, there was 36 deer out there. They're gone. I was here, here before dark. Maybe I need to be down here like at uh, 5.45. I was, I was here about 6. It just didn't happen, man. I don't know. I, I don't know if he winded me or what, but... <laughs> we'll see exactly what the wind's doing here. Killick. It's uh Yeah. He winded me. He he smelled me. That's why he took off. Wind's blowing right right there. What up, YouTube? So, I'm uh, just sitting up here on this, what's up? I'm out deer hunting. And uh, I'm just sitting up here on this, this knoll, just checking out, seeing what time these guys are going to feed and go to water. Um, Got my binoculars on my tripod. But, yeah, it's a, just a waiting game now. That's it. I know what, I know what time, I know what time they come 
in off the field. Now it's time to come in off the field. It's around 7.30, so um, I'll flip the camera around and show you where I'm going to go sit in the morning. But I want to get uh, a night visual when when they come at night. To be honest, I don't feel like hiking. I've been I uh, when I got up at uh, 4:30 and headed out, and uh, I went up this other canyon right here. I'll show you when I turn the camera around. But uh, yeah, I went up that canyon and. There's just people everywhere. And they're freaking everywhere, man. So I'm right now I'm on my uncle's property. So no one can come up here, but uh so yeah. Well I'll flip the camera around, show you where uh what we're doing. I forgot to I forgot to tell you. Um, last weekend when I was up here, I was, uh, I was walking down this, this draw right here and, uh, freaking rattlesnake, six shooter, brought the old revolver, that way I can skin him up and eat him. Any you guys ever had rattlesnake? Pretty good. Not too bad. Throw it on the barbecue. It's pretty good. Not too bad. I wish I had my phone scope. I could get some better footage with for with you. I left it sitting on the entry table. I usually carry it in my bag, but I forgot. Oh look, Vortex, they sponsor me. <laughs> Just kidding, I wish. That'd be so cool. That'd be so cool. But uh, yesterday I went to the pawn shop to see if they had any 223 ammunition because everybody's sold out. He had two boxes left, so I grabbed those. I started looking at the rifles. Man, they he's got a, a Winchester Model 70. It's sweet. Wood stock. It's like in mint condition, mint condition. I want it bad, $569. I think, I think I can pull that off next week. But I want it, I want it. It's a pretty gun. Got good grain orientation. Beautiful gun. Got a, it's got a vortex scope, uh, four to sixteen, four sixteen to forty. No, yeah, four, four by sixteen by forty. So it's got a pretty, pretty nice scope on it. Maybe I'll reach out and touch somebody. Usually. Most most hunting rifles around here in Utah are uh, three by nine by um, thirty two maybe I'm not sure but somewhere in there that uh, four by sixteen by forty is a little much I mean I mean it's a good four hundred yard gun. Good, good 400 yard um, scope. I'd feel comfortable taking a deer out at 400 yards. But anyway, 
Enough of me rambling. See this tree line right, right here. Tree line right. Come on, stupid out of focus. Anyway, you can see that tree line right there, and then you can see the open field. Nice gear. It's uh, not too hot. It's nice and breathable. I got I got the shirt on, the pants, and the hat. 